What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a deep dive on one of the best free players in the game. Now, we are going to be talking about a car that you can get from doing the penalty shootout. It is Jack Wilshire. This guy is an absolute beast. One of my favorite players to use, honestly. I've been using him on my road to glory. I think he kind of compares to pretty much any top class centre midfielder or attacking midfielder and we're going to show you exactly how to train him up. He is a booster, he's down as an orchestrator, it's, it's a phenomenal card for free, honestly. Costa Corta and Neymar are brilliant, brilliant cards that you get from the, the penalty game, but I think Wiltshire, I, I think he's the best, I think he is definitely the best when you train him up and you put a bit of investment into him. He's definitely an end game player if you are staying free to play because you are eventually going to get him with the penalty uh, kick, you know? He's a brilliant passer, brilliant facilitator. He kind of pops in and out of space. But the best thing I like about him is if you are a dribbler, right, and it suits your dribble play style, he's one of the best in-the-box attacking midfielders slash CMFs that can still get around the pitch, can still defend, can still, you know, intercept balls. Obviously, you're going to see him pick pockets of space here that when he gets on the ball, he just, you know, kind of drifts into position. Lovely move here from Giroud just to square it. But once Wilshire gets it in here... He makes it look easy. You know, obviously the dribbling in the game is completely overpowered when you hold your back to the opponent like that. If you can't defend it, your opponent is going to struggle. But what about that for an assist there? An R3 flick up and then a beautiful finish as well. But this is what he starts off at, right? So this is where you get him from. We're going to show you his training guide. But first, we are going to show you his position training. So I actually looked out and I wanted to make him a left midfielder just to be able to cut in off the, off the left flank into a midfield position. This is a bit of luck. We had two skill training our two position trainers we got the position position proficiency acquired here as the left midfielder so we said right we'll go for the left one again we only had one more chance at it and luckily enough we did actually get it so this just meant that jack wiltshire could be a little bit more of a utility man cutting in from the left if we wanted to play him on left and then you know eventually having him as our main attacking midfielder but on our road to glory we always kind of just play one attacking midfielder because i like to have a double pivot of a dmf and a cmf um, so I do like Wiltshire being able to have a little bit of everything about him, you know. I would say that my second favorite player in this role is probably Sankrasen, but obviously he's more attacking. And then I would probably say as well that DePaul or Laurent is really good in this position, but I've found myself time and time again just picking Wiltshire. And literally, he is a goal or an assist a game, every game. I mean, he's just unreal. Now, obviously, as you go up the levels, you will find that there are better players than him that, you know, he just doesn't compete with. But he's got an insanely good double touch. He's got brilliant feet. And the one thing I like about him that I find he's very difficult to dispossess, right? He's kind of like Pedri this way, okay? You'll see here, like, look at the strength. It's just obviously, you know, the game has certain issues with the mechanics and that. But Wiltshire just seems to be able to get on the ball a lot. So this is the build in this formation that we have here. He is down as an attacking midfielder, 94 with the ball control, 93 dribbling, 92 tight possession and low pass. And of course, we only have 74 to uh, finish in here. That's not a problem because you're just going to be scoring a lot of tap-ins. 92 balance, 92 aggression and 85 acceleration with 84 kicking power. It's not the most overpowered broken card, but I definitely feel that he plays way above his stats. Honestly, he plays like a 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 100 balance type player with like 85 finishing. It is ridiculous sometimes how, you know, some of the players play way above their stats and just absolutely dominate picking up pockets of space. Because let's be honest, boys, right? As good and all as we are at the game or you are at the game or as bad and all as I am at the game or I'm good at the game, it doesn't really make a difference sometimes. The AI, you are dependent on your AI to make the runs for you. So you're kind of a skill level at this at this moment because there are a couple of mechanics in the game that are you know are a bit all over the place such as the aggression the ai the auto defending the hand holding it does depend on where your ai is going to be making runs for you and if you can pick the pass that is basically where the game is at at the moment you know and being able to streamline that so that is the build there we don't need to go through it too much but i want to discuss the seven into defending and the nine into lower body strength i think the seven into defending you could alter that a little bit if you want to tell we went a little bit heavy on it but the rest of the stats there's nowhere else really to put them and then also with the additional skills we went for long range curler low loft to pass interception long range drive that is what i would recommend if you were going to be training up his skills but honestly i can't wax lyrical enough about jack wilshire his feet are absolutely brilliant he's really really good really really strong physical on the ball without being too big and too bulky and too clunky and honestly i feel like he is definitely one of my favorite players to use for my road to glory always picking up these pockets of space and once he gets the ball in here 
it doesn't matter what his stats are. He's just always able to finish. You know, even though he's only got 74 finishing stat with this build, it's just kind of his player ID and picking up those pockets of space. So that is it for Will Sherlads. I am going to give him a very, very solid rating of 9 out of 10. I think he's really, really good. He gets an extra point, I would say, because he is a freebie and he's definitely one of the best free cards that can bring you to the end game to Division 1 and just absolutely dominate. And let me know if I've rated him too high. Let me know if you agree with my rating and if you love him as well as me. And until next time, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you in a bit.